remember this a few years ago. In fact, we'll try to search it. Four or five years ago, Milwaukee Council proposed martial law, or members of Milwaukee City Council wanted martial law. And there was all this corruption coming out, and so uh, one of them opened their fat mouth about putting the city under martial law in open session that had been discussed behind the scenes. And they're not supposed to call it that, but they've introduced this idea to all the cities, getting them primed for it and how cute and fun it is. Uh, globalist sympathizers have been trained to threat fusion centers everywhere for the full takedown of America by the criminals that have hijacked D.C. Now, we covered last week Jennifer Jones, who runs a local newspaper in Quartzsite, where she got up in her three-minute communica uh, communication. Uh, they didn't want her discussing the fact that they just passed a an illegal tax. Uh, and so they ordered the police to arrest her. And the mayor said she's allowed to speak. It's her communication. She's just being very polite. And they said no and arrested her. Now, it's confirmed that a SWAT team was sent to the mayor's house to take him to a secret meeting. Jennifer Jones was there and able to eavesdrop through the door on part of it. The Arizona Central, that's the Arizona Republic, the big paper in Arizona, uh, is reporting court site official rejects mayor's martial law claim. The mayor says it's martial law, and the media is like, ha, 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 the SWAT team only came and took him. And, and so uh, it continues here, and we're going to go uh, over this. Uh, the, the, they had an emergency Sunday session to beef up security. Now, the police chief said months ago that we can't have citizens criticizing us. This will cause a Jared Lee Loeffner. So they're going to use that to fully lock the city down. And there's areas of Arkansas under martial law. The cops even call it that. And you found the Milwaukee. Put that up as we go to Jennifer Jones. Yeah, there it is. Unraveling the martial law rumor press buzz. I remember it was in the Milwaukee News. And it goes to the city council member that talked about it. Uh, okay, let's uh, go ahead now and go to Jennifer Jones. Jennifer, we don't have a lot of time. We appreciate you joining us. We're trying to get the mayor on soon. Tell us exactly in a nutshell what happened. Okay, well, here, here is as, as quickly as I can do it, because ironically, I'm in my car on my way to jury duty, of all things. Uh, here's what happened. Sunday about 11.30 in the morning, the police chief and the sergeant, and the sergeant was in his tactical gear, showed up at the mayor's house and ordered the mayor to get into the police car and go with him to town hall. The mayor apparently said, uh, town hall's not open on Sunday. I'm not going with you anywhere, and uh, if I go to town hall, I'll take my own car. So he started calling several of us and said, grab your cameras and meet me at town hall. There's something terribly wrong. So we did that, and a handful of us went to town hall. And when we got there, I asked the mayor, well, did you call uh, dispatch to see if the police chief radioed in this call to dispatch and what this is about? So he called dispatch. He asked for the county sheriff. They said the nearest sheriff is in Ehrenberg about, you know, it, that's about uh, 17, 19 miles away. So they said, it'll be a moment. In the meantime, we'll call the two courtside police officers who were on duty, and that was uh, Officer Rodriguez and Officer Norris. Officer Norris, her sister, is the town clerk. Okay, so what happened? Well, we, get, we walk up the steps while we're waiting for the police, and uh, they open the door, and Officer, uh, Sergeant Frausto, in his tactical gear, opens the door. You can see this on the video right uh, that's on, on YouTube. He opens the door. The mayor says, he asks the mayor if he's coming in. He looks, we see all the council, town manager, town attorney, town assistant attorney, every town clerk in there looking very nervous. And he says, I'm not going in there. This is an illegal meeting. So they locked the door and they held the meeting. The mayor got on the phone, started making phone calls. A uh, local realtor and I stuck our cameras to the glass and photographed this meeting. I stuck my ear to the glass, wherein I heard the police chief make about a 20 minute speech about how the town had been flooded with emails since your show. He blamed it on, I think the Tea Party is coming to our next council meeting, and it's been on this website, the Daily Poll, and the, the mayor and Jennifer Jones and Michael Ross are trying to, in, apparently, he alleged we were trying to incite some kind of a riot. Public safety was in danger. I heard the vice mayor say, I got 500 emails just yesterday. I can't work like this. I'm in fear. We must do something. And then... To, to my horror, I heard them call for the vote. I heard them unanimously vote for it. I heard the town attorney read it onto the record. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For martial law. For to declare a state of emergency in the town of Forsyth. And and that in the town of Forsyth, what that means is that the police chief is in charge. Oh, and, and, oh, oh, the guy that in editorials they call they say is like Jesus. 
So, so now, well, what's wrong? The Christ is now in charge. We're not joking, folks. He's referred to as the Christ. We'll be right back. As soon as he'll be wearing a golden crown. Folks, the mayor has now gotten the secret agenda. And it does say emergency, state of emergency, and it, it's going up on the web. Uh, we have the draft of the minutes of the secret council meeting, and uh, the full thing uh, is going up very, very soon. The mayor just got it. Uh, the transcript uh, where martial law, civil emergency, was discussed. Uh, they talked about comments on the YouTube video of Jennifer Jones on this show uh, last Friday. They had this emergency meeting. Uh, Sunday. This is now one of the major reports uh, in the Arizona Republic. Court site official rejects mayor's martial law claim. Now, now I want to get back to what you heard with your ear up against the window. You guys were able to get some audio. You're trying to boost that audio with the camera mic up to the crack in the door. It's very hard to hear, but if you just put it raw on the web, folks can grab it, and th there's audio experts that know how to separate it out. But, but regardless, we now have the agenda and we're about to get the actual minutes of it. Now, now specifically here, you were telling Rob Dew this morning, uh, and clarify this, that they went to the mayor's house uh, with the SWAT team or the people in their tactical gear. Uh, describe what happened there and what else was said, because I'm talking about Obama saying Congress isn't needed for war, gun control, carbon taxes, uh, internet kill switches. That's the big theme today, because it's all coming down right now. And here's this same attitude in court site, uh, Arizona. Uh, so tell us what happened with the mayor. Well, I've been here about over a decade, and I've never seen any police officers wearing that sort of tactical gear with the big white police letters on the bulletproof vest and things. You can see that in the video of the illegal meeting when he opens the door for the mayor. But apparently they came to the mayor's house, and uh, the police chief and the duty sergeant, and the duty sergeant was wearing the tactical gear. They ordered the mayor to get into their police vehicle and go with them to town hall, and he refused. He said, I know town hall isn't open on a Sunday, and I'm not going anywhere with you. If I go to town hall, I'll take my own vehicle. So he immediately started calling a group of us that he could reach in only a few minutes' time and said, bring your cameras to town hall and meet me there. The police just came to my door and ordered me to town hall. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's happening. Now, again, ordered the mayor, uh, their, their supposed boss, and a lot of the cops are good folks and have gone public. Some of them are getting in trouble. People at town hall that don't agree with this are being fired. This is lawsuit city here uh, for the type of political discrimination that's going on. The city needs to apologize and back off now. I know they're watching. They need to realize this is not a fight politically. They're going to win by screaming that, you know, that the Daily Paul and people are terrorists or that we're terrorists. You know, as the uh, police chief months ago said that you guys, you know, were, were basically Jared Lee Loeffner, uh for protesting their tax rate uh, hikes. I mean, they need to learn this is what a free republic uh, is all about. Uh, but I'll go back to Re Mayor Nagin uh, just came out in his new book and admits now that reportedly Blackwater came day one with guns and said, we're taking over the mayor's office, and, and he had to kick him out. But the point is, they try this power grab. This is what happens in third world countries where the police and military just take over. This is what Caesar did 2,000 years ago. Uh, so the mayor said, I'm not coming with you. What happened next? Well, he drove in his own vehicle to town hall while he frantically made phone calls, and we made phone calls and rounded up a half a dozen people. When we got to town hall, we saw that the police were parked behind town hall, and we parked in the front parking lot, and I asked the mayor, I said, well, did you check with dispatch? Because dispatch for us runs through the county. Even town calls run is routed okay, through Okay, so the what happened? Well, they, they uh, told him he asked for a sheriff. He was told the sheriff was about 20 minutes out. He sent two of our court site police officers, who were fortunately two of the officers who had filed criminal complaints against the chief. So we, they, we were happy to see them on duty. They showed up first. Uh, Officer Norris was very concerned that her sister was inside the building. Her sister's the town clerk because her sister was supposed to be out of town. And I still don't know yet if her sister was called and ordered back to, it to take the minutes for this meeting or if the All right, stay there. We're doing five more around. minutes. The Dr. Corsi's coming up. But there you go, martial law in Arizona. Okay, we're going to play this clip live on air. Uh, we now have the video uh, shot by one of the compadres of Jennifer Jones. Uh, and you can watch it again on the website that's on the video. Where the mayor, who the police have ordered 
uh, armed police to go to this emergency meeting on Sunday, the mayor of Quartzsite, he gets there, he walks up and says this is an illegal meeting, and the cop in tactical gear slams the door. Why not just put gold crowns on the police chief and these other cops? Why not, why not just literally bow down, like make them like North Korea? And then the great-grandson, you know, decades from now, 100 years from now, of this police chief can be, you know, the third or fourth king of Quartzsite. I mean, that's how North Korea works. That's what the Queen of England is. Pretty soon they'll be like tabloids worshiping the police chief and, you know, his wife's gowns or something. I mean, that's what royalty is. It's just people that take over and put a crown on and you worship them. So uh, here's the mayor. Uh, uh, first ordered there, he gets there and doesn't like what's going on, so they slam the door in his face. So even the martial law emergency proclamation is secret. Uh, boy, uh, and, and now they've told the, the Arizona Republic this isn't going on. What's going to now happen that they've gotten the copy of the proclamation, Jennifer? Well, you know, that's, that's what we're trying to find out. We, the proclamation itself, we don't believe is legal. But when you're two hours from the Capitol and nobody wants to rush out here in any big hurry, well, you know, the, the question that has been a concern for us is, what is the police chief going to think he has the power to do until the real world punched the time clock this morning and, you know, we could start making... What's wrong? Calls. What's wrong with with making these council members and the police chief king? I mean, I mean, that's a good system. I mean, they're talking about getting rid of the Constitution and our media. I think you're an extremist. I, okay, so, I mean, please. Now, I think it's good they sent police to the mayor's house and ordered him there. I mean, this is freedom. And I think you're an extremist, Jennifer Jones. Now expanding, listening to the door, what else did you hear them say uh, about the civil uh, emergency, a.k.a. martial law? Well, you know, they might say extremist, I say patriot. But what I heard them say was the police chief was the only one who addressed the council. He's our lord. And he, gave, he gave about a 20-minute dissertation uh, uh, referring to the video going viral that, that we saw my arrest, uh, referring to statements the mayor made, about how the next council meeting was going to be just as exciting, uh, referring to myself by name, by, to uh, the Republican precinct committeeman Michael Ross by name, saying that we have created a, a, a situation where danger is imminent and, and it's a, an emergency situation. We must do this. We must do this. And uh, he said that because of the threats via email in reaction to the video, thousands of emails pouring in, uh, from your listeners and, and some of the other stations and some of the, the blog sites and such, that the, the tone of the emails was threatening, and they had to do this for, to protect public safety. Well, I agree with that. I mean, I, I mean I'm glad. I mean, look, when they arrest a woman uh, for speaking in three-minute citizen communication with the mayor saying, let her speak, that's freedom. And, 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 and again, Jennifer, all of you people that are upset about this ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Well, you know... Here's the thing, Alex. If they really want to protect public safety, they need to step down and resign immediately.